two can eat the flash freeze. Go fish! Fish and liquid nitrogen. Today's lab hack is you can use a wire, wrap it around some tubes, and now you can use this when you need to flash freeze your samples. Um, and so flash freezing and liquid nitrogen is a really great way um, to freeze samples that like, especially like protein samples, if you don't want ice crystals to form in it. Flash freezing, um, liquid nitrogen allows you to freeze it really, really quickly so that all the water molecules don't have a chance to like hook up with one another and form their like lattice network, um, which gives you a crystal and uh, when water freezes and expands and this can cause problems. Speaking of causing problems, if you want to flash freeze a tube um, and liquid nitrogen, if you have like a doer like this filled with liquid nitrogen, or maybe you have like some little bowl or something, um, basically you can drop the tubes in there, but what's going to happen when you drop the tubes in there is that you have to get the tubes out. You can do so with fishing like this sort of thing. Um, but the big, a big problem too is if you just drop the tubes in there is that then the tubes, uh, especially if you just have a little bit of volume, um, the tubes when it freezes, because it's going to freeze really quickly, and so you have your tube like on your side and then you're having little drops of your thing all over the place and on the lid and then you go to open the lid and everything squirts out. Um, or you just have more contact with the surface area of the tube and when this happens, each of those places that makes contact with the tube is a place where it can get stuck on there and then you lose sample uh, because of problems with like evaporation the more surface area you have. So it's important that when you're freezing your tubes you do so with them straight down. So if you have some sort of, in my old lab we had like these plastic dividers and these little holes and then you could just stick this onto, um, onto the door of liquid nitrogen literally as i was recording this little guy came which should be perfect for freezing and this little thing but if you don't have one of those especially if you just have a couple one or two samples um a little wire does the trick just make sure it's tied on tightly and that you're not putting it in like um we had those like storage doers in undergrad which is where i figured out how to do this um and speaking of the tube just falling out you want to make sure that your tube's not falling out when you do this um, so make sure it's tied really tight um, and that it's not, if it's one of those like storage doors and there's actually like people have their racks in there, you want to make sure that you're doing so this so that it's not going to get like taut on any of those or your tube's going to be lost. Um, but this works pretty well and allows you to freeze with your tube straight up without having to worry about fishing it out and like burning your fingers or any of that sort of thing. When you're tying, uh, make sure that you're not like touching all over the bottom of the tube. Um, you can even like tie it beforehand and then um, pipette your sample in. Um, you just want to make sure that if you're trying to freeze the sample, you're not having your warm hands all over it. So I've heard people use like fishing net. Um, if you to drop instead of like fishing out tubes, you put some fishing net and then when you freeze the tubes, then you can pull them out. But then again, you still have the problem of keeping things on perpendicular. Another option if you need to have a lot of samples um, and you're doing it, you want to keep them perpendicular, what you can do is you can actually stick them in one of these boxes. Um, stick this in some sort of container that's not going, that's like that liquid nitrogen proof, like a styrofoam box or something, and then you could actually pour the liquid nitrogen directly into the box, um, like from the door or whatever, like pour it into the box, make sure you have enough um, liquid nitrogen in there to cover the line, the liquid line of your sample. So this way all of your samples, especially now you have your box, is all, they're already in the box, ready to go.